I just put Harlow down and I just ate a little Debbie's brownie. <laughs> I made myself a sandwich for dinner. Nothing uh, super healthy over here. Also another thing that I've been absolutely obsessed with during this pregnancy, or at least the later half of it, is Coca-Cola. So I've been getting these small cans because I typically allow myself to drink like one Coke a month, but it's been a little bit more than that since I've been pregnant and I know it's not good for me, but like sometimes you just work all day and you're like, I've just gotta have that one craving. So I've been like limiting it, but I've been drinking a little bit more than normal. Um, I feel like I need to do a uh, check-in with you guys on like all my fitness stuff. Um, it has not really been going exactly how I'd like to go. There are a million excuses, one of them being the remodel and um, unfortunately our nanny, uh, her father is very ill and so she's had to take some time off here and there and uh, anyways, it's been hard to get down, down to the gym. <laughs> so uh, I'm watching 90 Day Fiance on her giant TV. What do you guys think about her if you watch this? It was interesting reading my DMs and like hearing what you guys thought. Um, I think her name is Jasmine. Some of you guys really like her and some of you guys don't. So. We are losing light outside actually. It's like uh, about to, it's like eight o'clock I think. So let's head outside. I wanted to just do a simple casual video and show you guys our garden. Um, last weekend, so a couple days ago, we went to a nursery, one of my favorite nurseries here in San Diego. It's in San Marcos. It's called Green Thumb. And it's like my favorite nursery because they have everything and they have like bonsai plants and like little plants that I can put inside my enclosures. Like they just, they have it all. They also have a really good selection of vegetable plants. And I actually purchased within the same week vegetable plants from them and another nursery that we went to and the other nursery that we went to pretty much didn't grow at all when we planted them and then died shortly thereafter. And the ones from Green Thumb Nursery, lasted so long and grew so fast and like gave me fruit like pretty quickly. So I've just been kind of obsessed with going to that place. So um, I don't know if you saw my Instagram stories, but <laughs> we were there and Harlow was enjoying herself, pushing her little cart. I shouldn't say she was fully enjoying herself because she had a little bit of a meltdown, <laughs> but um, Nick went with me. So he was able to remedy that. <clears throat> Let's head outside before the sun sets. These sandals have so much crap on them. Oh, our pool. So it's been, I don't know what that is, but um, it's been one of Harlow's favorite new things to start throwing things in the pool. We are about to build a fence around this bad boy. So <clears throat> would you like to see um, a snippet of our backyard that makes us look like we're on, the epi uh, on an episode of Hoarders? <laughs> this is all from the remodel. So here's like all the stuff I planted that just like died basically. Like it just grew a tiny bit and then just died. It's such a shame because this took me forever, forever. Here we are. All right, so let's start with our fruit trees real quick and then we'll talk about this area. All right, so we planted three avocado trees. There's one here, one down there, and one over there. I don't remember which one this is, but I know for sure that's the Haas. We have a, a Haas, a Fuerte, and a Surprise. Um, this guy, they're looking really good. So this one was actually planted right here. I have no idea why they planted it there. I told the gardener it needed to be like, they need to be 15 feet apart at the minimum. And um, so they're doing really, really well though. Uh, we have, some baby avocados down here and then we have some even smaller ones up here you see these guys right here look at those little babies so the reason for doing three different ones is because number one I guess this turned into a little gardening lesson but if you only have one avocado tree you're gonna be screwed you need a different uh, I don't want to say am I trying to say like breed or species or different type so that they can cross pollinate um, so that's one thing. That's one reason we got three. But also, the different types of avocado trees that these are, 
they're supposed to be flowering and producing fruit like basically all year all year round so that's the deal with these and then down here is our lime tree <clears throat> that seems to be growing ever so slowly that little sign um, I got made for Nick it says Laura's limes Laura um, is Nick's mother who passed away when he was about 19 from MS um, so obviously <clears throat> I never got to meet her and then down here we have some artichokes this came in a six pack so we've got our artichokes down here with like a dripper hose I just watered those again um, this afternoon as well as the rest of the garden just to make sure it's like doing pretty well since it just got planted look how good this avocado tree is doing this is my hoss right here and she is done for a while with blooms okay let's head over here nick put these in the ground for me he is like so freaking handy it's so hot <laughs> um he bought these shades on amazon to give the garden a little bit of shade it gets really really hot out here in san diego um and then he built me these i think we're gonna need a few more so we have four garden beds he also built me these like he's freaking amazing <laughs> so let's start over here so you might be wondering why this is so tall <laughs> our neighbors right there um even though we live on quite a bit of acreage the houses are kind of close together this way so there's a light that they usually have on that's really bright and it shines right into our bathroom uh, window which is right there <laughs> So he built this extra tall for the mint and it blocks the light. So killing two birds with one stone. Over here, we have something that actually legit tastes like soap. So this is Thai basil. And we just thought it would be fun. Um, no, not Thai, Thai basil, Thai cilantro. No, Thai cilantro, sorry. I believe it's Thai cilantro. And it legit tastes like soap. So when people tell you, ew, I don't like cilantro, like it tastes like soap to me. This is what I imagine that tasting like because this legit tastes like soap. Over here, we have a rose, a little rose plant. I feed these um, to my reptiles. So that's kind of all, the only reason that's there. This is making me lose my breath so fast. So <clears throat> this is one of the plants in the garden that i grew from seed now it really hasn't grown much in the past few weeks so i don't know what's going on here these are all different types of pumpkin from here over so i planted so many because first of all they came in a pack of six and then i don't really know what's going to take off and what isn't i have not had luck with pumpkins so far so um, they typically get to the size and then just stop growing so i don't know what the issue is but if they do start to grow, I'm gonna try and train them all to kind of go over that side and grow back there. Um, this is all Japanese cucumbers. So those will be going and growing up this guy right here. And then we've got some marigold. I got a six pack of these. And I don't know how to pronounce what this is, but these three things, these ward away pests, and then I can feed these to my animals as well. And I can feed these to my animals too. So over here we have something that I've never grown before. I don't actually like watermelon. I know, crazy, right? Um, but this, if it'll focus, is a sugar baby watermelon. And it's like kind of small, I guess. Maybe like a little bit larger than a grapefruit size. And it's got a black skin. It's kind of interesting. So thought we might try that. Over here we have a pickling cucumber these are the ones with like little spiny um bumpy sides i love those i love to pickle my vegetables um and then over here we have an armenian cucumber it kind of just looks like a cucumber without skin it's kind of interesting i've never tried that so that's another one that i've just never seen or tried that i thought would be fun moving over here oh this is what that thing is that I feed to my reptiles. Nasturtium, that's what Nick called it. So another one of those guys, we've got two purple, is this, yeah, purple tomatillos. There's a really good tomatillo chicken dish that I like to make. So those are what those are. We've got some more marigold, some more of this guy. 
This I grew from seed. It is not doing so hot. I just put it in here from a container the other day. It's not, it's not loving life. I'm not really sure if our Four Seasons lettuce is gonna make it, guys. It's not looking too good, but actually probably help if I move one of these drippers over to it. This is some white onion. I don't know where I wanna plant these yet. I've got some onion in a different garden bed that I thought were green onions, but it turns out they're not. They're Gladstone onions, <laughs> so I feel like I'm gonna have too many onions. Um, we have tons of arugula. So my husband is obsessed with arugula. We have wasabi arugula in here that actually tastes like wasabi. It's really quite interesting. Um, so I just picked this off and clean it, which is very freaking hard to clean um, and eat it. I mean, we even have this stuff, I was looking on the ground, but we even have this stuff growing like on the grounds. Like it is, it's like a, it grows like a weed. Um, <laughs> so this is our arugula. The animals love this as well. This guy is probably not supposed to look like this, but this is a collard green plant. This was strictly grown for my animals as well. These leaves are like, 120th the size of the ones you get in the grocery store so i don't get much off this thing it, it might be kind of done we're, we're we're not sure jury's still out over here these are my strawberries and these guys i've actually recently got some strawberries off of these that are ripe and that don't have any bites in them oh look this guy's gonna be ripe pretty quickly but I started using, you can see some of the pellets in here. Oh, I'm so freaking out of breath, you guys. Bear with me. <laughs> um, I started using this stuff called Sluggo. Um, I tried a bunch of natural things. I've got copper wire on the sides of these. Unfortunately, I was not able to keep the roly polies, the slugs, and the snails out of the freaking garden. And I didn't want to have to kill them. But here I am killing snails because I have spent so much time and money, and Nick has, we have spent so much time and money on this garden that it's just such a shame to watch it just all get eaten before we get to enjoy it. So unfortunately, I've been using Sluggo and it has been working like a freaking charm. I highly recommend it if you're having issues. It's still considered organic for your garden. Um, like you can still consider it like organic gardening, but I've been putting the pellets like around the ground here and I haven't seen like almost any snails in here at night or in the mornings and that's usually when they're covered and they've been eating everything so i have everything's looking really good so i'm very 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 excited about that like my cilantro that i grew from seed was like thriving put it in the garden bed the snails came and ravished it and ate all of it in one single night i was so sad so i had to buy more so that takes us to the next garden bed. This is kind of a clusterfuck over here. Let me tell you what's going on. <laughs> okay, so this plant that doesn't look so hot, I think it's ready to harvest. Um, and this one, and this one. So some of these ones, uh, so I planted russet potatoes here. So I bought potatoes from the store. They started growing those little eyes or nodules on them. So I decided to plant them and they grew, but <laughs> they didn't pop up until after I planted these peppers over here. This guy is a padrone pepper. We've got a house. So after I planted the peppers, these guys popped up and I was like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot I put those in there. But it was crazy the other day, I was like digging in here, kind of just like seeing how wet it was under there or whatever. And there's all these different sized potatoes under here, like way over here from like that plant. Um, and they're just all under the ground right here. Like, let me see if I can find one and show you. I'm about to dirty my nails for this y'all. And some of them are like ready to be picked and some of them are, are like pulled up and some of them are just not. Okay, there's a potato right there. Do you see it? Look at it. So cool. So they're all growing at different um, like rates too, which is really interesting. Like from the same plant, like one potato is like this big and the next one's like this big. So I'm gonna pull all those out pretty soon so that our peppers can have their space again. These right here, this has been harvested, this has been harvested, and one that has already been harvested, I ripped out of there because it was dying. But um, this is green romaine lettuce. I pretty much only feed this to the animals because we tried it, and it's a little bitter. I don't know if it's because it's growing near my onions or what, but I'm not a huge fan. This is one that the 
snails were absolutely obliterating and now it is going strong. We've got some little baby basil over here. These guys have not been doing so hot, so we'll see. They've been in here for about two weeks now. So we'll see how these do. Um, over here, we've got three cilantros that are pretty much look amazing considering one that was like half the size or a little bit smaller, like was annihilated in one night. So we're looking pretty good here. Here we have tomatoes. These are all tomatoes, all of these and that. So we've got like an heirloom tomato. We've got a cherry tomato. Let's see, I can tell you specifically. This is a super sweet 101. These are cherry tomatoes. This is a Mr. Stripey heirloom tomato over here. This guy doesn't look like it's getting enough water. I'm gonna have to adjust that. This is a big rainbow heirloom tomato. Oh shit balls, I almost tripped on that side. This is our biggest tomato plant, I think. It's a little bit bigger than that guy, but they already have little blooms on them. Look, we're gonna have some tomatoes soon. This one is a cherry red tomato also. And then over here, we've got a couple more of these nasturtiums, um, marigold. And then this is a green bell pepper. For the life of me, I cannot find a red bell pepper plant. I actually grew some from seed and they didn't get bigger than this. So I don't know what the trick is, but I prefer red bell peppers to green bell peppers. So have you guys ever seen a red bell pepper for sale in the store? Cause I have not. We've got some chives right here. These, oh, look at this little guy. Sorry, dude, you think you're gonna eat my onions, but you're not. <laughs> so you can see the onion bulbs growing in here. I actually started cutting all of these because I thought these were green onions because of the way I've been cutting these and using them in food as green onions and they taste exactly like green onions. Is that just what a green onion is maybe? I don't even know, but these all grow into individual onions as far as I know. So that's what we got going on over here. But it looks kind of crazy because I keep cutting it back thinking <laughs> it's a freaking green onion plant. So someone explain this to me. If you know how onions work, I'm lost. It is blooming. So that's kind of cool. Last garden bed over here. All right. If all these take off, we're in trouble again. I'll tell you why. <laughs> so these, this one, this one and this one are all zucchini squash. I grew these from seed. It's really interesting to see how plants that were grown at the same time in the same location have just grown differently. This is so little compared to these guys and it was grown, like planted at the same time, put in here at the same time, kept in the same spot. It's kind of funny that it's like just so much smaller like <laughs> catch up dude okay so this guy is our yellow squash you can see all the yellow squash in here um we've or i've gotten like six out of it in the past week they grow almost an inch a day isn't that wild so this guy's not looking too hot on the end but yeah they grow super super fast so pretty pretty cool we got a lot coming in these six plants right here, I might need another one of these trellises like there and here. We're gonna see how these do, but this is spaghetti squash, the six of these guys. So those are vining, those will go up the bat. I'm almost positive they're vining anyway. I think I grew these last year. I'm such a dumbass. <laughs> thought that these were vining and so I had the this like trellis originally like over there and then it was like not vining at all and I was just like what the fuck is going on and then it occurred to me that it is not a vining plant and then these six right here is that six one two three yeah these <laughs> these six right here are butternut squash so I absolutely love butternut squash I tried to buy some at the grocery store the other day and they didn't have any which is why I ended up buying six of these. These came in six packs. So this was a six pack. That was a six pack. Um, so right now I'm kind of in the process of like seeing what needs more water and I need to add a few more of these. Um, Nick showed me how to like puncture this and like do all of these guys. So little by little, we're gonna perfect it. Okay, last couple things over here. 
This is garlic. You can plant garlic pretty much like the bulb when it starts to grow little roots. You just plant it with the root part facing upwards. So these are actually um, my ex-husband's dad sent us these. Um, Ryan's dad sent me some bulbs and so he gave us so many that we ate most of them and then I decided to plant the rest of them. So I'm not really too sure if they're supposed to look like this, like with the little yellow leaves. I don't know if I'm watering too much or what. I should probably ask him. Yeah, I think I'll text him a picture tomorrow and ask, but that's what that is. That's just there because Nick was buying a plant from some random chick on Facebook Marketplace and she was like, I'm moving. Do you want this one too? And so he took this one, even though it's in like the ugliest pot. I actually hate these plants. I think they're hideous, <laughs> but here we are. Last but not least, we have more mint over here. You guys saw it when it was like all the mint was right here and you guys are like, that's going to take over the whole garden. You're right. We knew that, but we just want to see how it went. So Nick finally ended up putting it in this pot and splitting it between this one and that one over there. So that is, that's our garden guys. That's what we got going. We only have a few empty spaces. Um, but overall it's doing pretty good. I planted all of these new plants, um, three days ago. So we'll see how they continue to do, but I'm pretty excited to like try some of the new stuff that we haven't had before. So that is the garden tour. I would love to know what you guys are gardening. Do you guys have a garden? Like what, what do you guys grow? If you do, do you have any tips? I would love, I would love to know. That's one great thing about Southern California is you can garden pretty much all year long, which is wonderful. Um, I mean, a lot of the stuff will die off, but then you can start planting like cold weather items like beets and things like that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little garden tour. And if you want to see more like gardening videos like this, then let me know um, by leaving the little gardening emoji down below in the comments. And thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.